One of the most important things in your daily life is something that most of you can't live without. Water! Water itself isn't too hard to find unless you're in a really dry, deserty region like I am. But the problem is finding water that is clean enough that it will be good for you, rather than having some kind of horrible side effect. As a ghoul, this kind of thing isn't too important. Really, I just need water that doesn't look gross or taste weird, and taste doesn't really matter to me anymore. If you are a ghoul, you want to find water that tastes good. That's literally all it takes. Glowing water specifically is really good because for us, the more radioactive, the better. Radiation used to taste like peaches to me. Still smells like peaches anyway. But most of you who need to read this book probably aren't ghouls. I learned early on that most of the ponies who came to buy things for me and didn't run away in fear usually asked about some kind of clean water. So I tried to figure out how I could make some. Even though I'm a ghoul now, when I was a normal mayor before the war, I got food poisoning from eating at a donkey restaurant. Throwing up a lot when you don't have much food around can be really bad, especially when you just ate something. And you can also die. So the first thing to think about is there aren't any parasites or germs in the water. Assuming you know how to make a campfire, not sure if I need to write a chapter for that. The best thing to do is to boil the water for at least 15 minutes. Once you're done with that, pour out a little bit of the water so that the nasty film on top goes away. Then when the water is cooled down enough, fill up your canteens or jugs. If you still aren't sure about it, you can add a few drops of bleach to your water. About two drops for every bottle should be enough to kill anything else that might be in there. Be sure to shake it well! The second thing you have to watch out for is radiation. Like bacteria, this can be hard to spot. The best thing is to have some sort of radiation detector so that you can measure things wherever you go. Balefire can be concentrated in all sorts of unusual places, and the big reason for that is because of water. Radiation or taint or pink cloud or anything else can wash into a water supply and collect in pools that you might otherwise want to drink from. While the last two are easier to see, taint being rainbow colored and pink cloud being pink, radiation can be invisible unless it is concentrated enough to glow. That's the easiest way to see if something is radioactive. It will glow usually a blue or green or some other color. If water is radiated enough, then it's glowing. Then you should avoid drinking it altogether. However, you can if you have some right away with you. Radaway right comes in plastic bags or bottles. I've been told it looks and tastes like it's made of gross oranges. If you want to purify water with Radaway, right here's a simple trick. Fill up your cooking pot with the glowing radioactive water and start pouring in the Radaway. Right Keep stirring the pot so the Radaway right and water mix. Once the water stops going, then it's a really easy formula. 1 to 100. This means for every one thimble of Radaway, right you can remove the radiation from a hundred thimbles of water. And this works for any size. As long as the water isn't glowing, you can use, say, one gallon of Radaway right to purify a hundred gallons of water. That's assuming you have some kind of water tank for a whole town. But I'll talk more about that stuff later. Now, this is a little gross. But in the absolute worst case scenario, if you really really need some kind of water for something, you can drink your pee. Obviously, this is only in a dire situation, a situation where literally every other source of water would be worse for you. If you don't have a pit buck or some kind of rad counter, you can follow the simple glow test. Do all other water sources glow brighter than your pee? If so, you might have to drink your pee. And of course, you can't do this forever. Not that you'd want to, hopefully. It is only a short-term solution until you can get someplace that actually has drinkable water, or someplace that you can set up camp and purify some water with the above tips.